Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday. It's about 10.30 in the morning right now. I'm actually working from home today for my full-time job, so I figured I would just pick up another vlog today. I do have to get back to work, but I love a good Friday start to the vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed the last one. Not really sure what my plans are. I feel like with all these vlogs, I'm like not really sure what I'm gonna be doing, but I'll just pick up the camera if it's like anything fun and exciting or if I wanna check in with you guys on anything. So yes, I am wearing the same Fueled by Books and Coffee. This is from Etsy. I will have it linked down below. I'm going to jump back to working now, so I don't know if I'll check in too much today, just cause I'll be focusing on work and getting lots of work done. And then just a little update from my last vlog, I have to return those. I have the bag there, those TJ Maxx sweatpants that I got, they didn't end up fitting me. Even though they weren't extra large, they were just not comfortable and a little bit snug. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys a little later. This morning's coffee, I'm having it in the super cute friends mug. I think I probably showed this on my channel before. I love a clear mug. And this is the Nespresso. It's a double espresso scudo, I believe, which is their dark double espresso with just almond milk and a little bit of almond creamer froth. It's like a little almond milk latte, which is so good. Please excuse my crazy appearance right now, you guys. I'm like, I keep going back and forth from being hot and cold. It's just like one of those days in my house, but I am gonna do a little lunch now. It is 1.30 exactly, so I'm going to have some lunch. And I wanted to show you guys, so my dog, I think I've mentioned before, you guys have seen him on my channel. He is 15 and a half years old and he has been having just a lot of issues in his old age, specifically with like his gut health and going to the bathroom and stuff like that. So we actually got him like little probiotic bites on Amazon and I wanna show them to you guys and see if any of you guys have used them for your pets and if you have any thoughts or opinions. These are the bites that we picked up. They're the Zesty Paws Gut Health. I got him the pumpkin ones and he seemed to really like them. They're actually really cute. If I could get this open with one hand. I don't wanna to touch one right now, but if you guys can see, they're actually in the shape of little hearts, which is so cute. And he really seemed to enjoy them. You start off with half a serving until you can just make sure that, you know, they're good with it and their tummy likes it and everything. But so far he seems to like how it tastes. I will keep you guys updated on if it works or not. So I think right now I'm gonna have some lunch. I'm kind of craving breakfast food because I only had a yogurt and a little bit of granola around 8.30 this morning. So I feel like I want like an avocado toast or an avocado bagel is my favorite. And I actually think we still have some fresh bagels from like our local deli and bakery. There's like nothing like a local fresh bagel. It's so good. Ooh, yes. I love everything bagels. Look at this, so good. Just a little pro tip for you guys, if you're not doing it already, freeze your bagels the day that you get them fresh and once you defrost them, they seriously taste still like fresh from the bakery. It is like the best tip. So we'll buy like dozen bagels at a time and they still taste so good. I think these are like a week and a half we've had them and they're really, really fresh still. This is almost my perfectly toasted bagel. I would say maybe a little bit lighter than this, but this looks so delicious. And if you guys saw, I love mashing my avocado. Look at the sticker. I did not rip that off, but I love mashing my avocado directly in the shell. I feel like it saves you from dirtying another dish and it's just really easy then to just scoop it out and spread. All right, and of course, just to top it off, a little red pepper flake. Love red pepper flake on my avocado toast. Yeah. Are you ready for your walk? Yeah? You guys, look at this sweater. Oh, he wants to go so bad. Wait, let's show them your sweater. It's from Old Navy. Hi guys and happy Saturday. You know what that means. It is a YouTube filming and kind of working day for me. I got a little bit of a later start to my day today. It is just after two o'clock. I definitely want to sit down and film a beauty video. I'm hoping to bang out my 2022 favorites today because I have a ton of stuff, like a huge, huge list. I love how my makeup turned out today. I used the makeup by Mario Surreal Skin. I've been loving it, you guys. Like. 
with the right skin prep and the skin product, like hydrating and glowy. This looks so good. Also on my eyes today, I tried, wow, this is a great angle. I tried the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes palette that I got for Christmas for the first time. I think it's sold out. I was looking online, can't find it, but the palette is beautiful, you guys. Actually, let me grab it. You guys have to see it. So if you guys haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. I haven't peeled the film off the mirror yet, but oh my gosh, it is the most, Beautiful palette, I wish I tried it sooner so I could have told you guys when it was still available, but if it comes back in stock or if you see it anywhere, definitely grab it. It is so pretty, look at that. I just like a light mauve color in the crease. This is just two colors, a light mauve color and then a shimmer on the lid. One of the reasons why I am actually a little bit late to filming today is because I've actually spent a lot of time, probably too much time, revamping and redecorating my vanity. So do you guys remember when I went to Home Goods the other day? Was so unsuccessful with finding anything, but when I was editing, I spotted something in one of the clips, which is actually this big whiteboard. And I was like, ooh, I love the idea of having a whiteboard in my room above my vanity. So I went back to Home Goods to just grab that. And of course they had like a ton of other things for my vanity that I actually liked. So a little bit more of a success this time around. So I'm gonna show you guys just a quick vanity haul and kind of vanity haul, a home goods haul and kind of how I revamped my vanity. This is the whiteboard. I feel like the camera is not even doing this any justice. I love it. It's from the brand Mikasa. It was $20, which I don't think it's bad. It's like 20 by 24 or 19 by 24. And I love that you can just write in the month, all the dates. I'm like tip tapping ASMR here. <laughs> so here's what my vanity looks like now. I probably should have vlogged the process of me kind of doing this little revamp, but I was going back and forth a lot and I was just kind of really focusing on what I wanted this to look like. And I still don't think it's perfect, but it's definitely more of the vision that I was thinking. These are a couple of the items that I got at Home Goods. So I got this like pinky peach pompous grass it was twenty dollars and at first i was like does is this really worth twenty dollars but i don't know i just really liked it i knew it would match my picture kind of like perfectly so i think it's gonna look really nice in my filming background and then i also grabbed this clock which i loved i feel like it's just like so different i've never seen a clock like this like square with those giant letters and the time is off. I don't have batteries in it yet, but I just want to make sure I like it and I like how it looks. That's why the price tag is still on there for $7.99, but I don't know. I just really like how these two pieces look together. I think overall I just wanted more like bright and more depth in my filming background. This I also got at Home Goods. I still have the tag on it because I just like to make sure that I like things before I rip off the tag, just in case I wanna return. So this was $10, but it was totally worth it, you guys. This is like a super heavy marvel. It's a decorative phone stand, and it says charge, chat, or stream hands-free. You guys, I just thought this was so perfect because when I'm sitting at my vanity to do my makeup, I always have someone on FaceTime or on the phone, or I'll watch like a show on Netflix, whatever. So I just thought this was so pretty. And I use this tray that I had already that you guys are probably familiar with in my filming background to do like this little grouping. And then here I have, this is actually a sponge holder, but just to kind of fill it while I'm not doing my makeup, I put this really gorgeous Winky Lux blush in the shape of a rose. It's like a nice decorative piece. Those are gorgeous cream blushes too, formula wise. Last but not least for the shelf up here, I have these string fairy lights, which I love in my background. And I just placed a couple of my pretty Anastasia palettes. I don't know, I had a bunch of like small things up there, but I figured just to do like one big kind of grouping going across would look nice. So I have sultry, Jackie, Ina, and then modern Renaissance just to bring more pinky tones on this side to kind of go with that side. But overall, I think I am happy with this. Again, the whiteboard is gonna go up here, which I think will really tie everything together for my vanity and my background. But definitely let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's something you don't really like, if you guys have any recommendations of how I can kind of shift some stuff around here. All right, you guys, so I've been filming for about two hours now. This is the situation. 
that I have going on here. I'm not done just yet, but I need to take a break and eat something because I am so hungry and feel like I'm about to pass out in front of these studio lights. So I'm gonna take a little break to eat. We got some Chinese food and then I'm gonna pick back up with my 2022 favorites. I'm almost done. I have just like a couple of items left to talk about, but I knew it was gonna be a long one. So like I said, we're two hours in, but I need some fuel to finish. <laughs> I was just watching back some of my footage that I took from vlogging today and it somehow is in like two times slow motion and there's no audio in like the second half of my vlog clips from today. So I'm gonna try to make it work, maybe put it to some music or speed it up to something. But anyways, basically I think the last working clip was that I was taking a break from filming my video. I was gonna eat and then go back to filming. So you guys saw my food and everything. I was talking over those clips, but now there's no audio for some reason. And then I made a decaf Nespresso in my little friend's pivot cup. This is a decaffeinato Intenso pod. And then I did my almond milk and my almond creamer to make like a little decaf latte, which is yummy. And now me and my mom are just watching One Tree Hill. So that's kind of like the recap of everything that didn't work. For some reason, I have to definitely like make sure to check my settings now. When I'm filming, I'm still getting used to this camera. I have no idea how I filmed in slow motion with no audio, but I'm definitely gonna be more aware of that moving forward. <laughs> Hi guys, so I just took a shower and I figured I would do like my nighttime skincare and hair care because I did wash my hair. This was the night that I was supposed to skip if I was kind of sticking on my cadence of washing one night and skipping the next, but I had so much product and hairspray in my hair from doing my slick back ponytail that I had to wash it. My hair was like rock hard from all of the hairspray. I'm going to do my skincare now. So I don't do this every night. This is the Thayer's Witch Hazel. I know I used to talk about this on my channel a ton. I pretty much only do this when I've worn a lot of makeup on like a filming day like today because I feel like my cleanser in the shower doesn't get it all off even though I used a makeup eraser a makeup eraser cloth and then my cleanser I just feel like this helps get all of that extra makeup off because it was a lot of makeup on my face today next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the ordinary lactic acid I don't do this all the time like maybe like every three to four nights when I feel like my skin texture is acting up a little bit I have been wearing a lot of makeup with all the filming I've been doing so I feel like my skin just needs a little bit of this. So I just do like a couple drops. I'm going like this because I have the mirror cabinet open in front of me to sit my camera so I can't see the mirror. But just a little bit of this, like I said, every like three to four nights to help with my texture. I'm gonna let the lactic acid kind of soak in my skin a little bit before I go ahead and put moisturizer. So I'm gonna move on to my hair. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this Garnier Sleek and Shine leave-in conditioning cream just on the ends of my hair for a little extra hydration, literally just that much. That honestly might be too much too, but just for a little extra hydration and it helps me brush it out too and get out the tangles because I have such tangly hair. My hair is in knots in like a couple minutes, even if I do a lot of conditioner in the shower. So just focus this, focus this. I feel like I can't speak when I'm vlogging. Focus this mainly on my ends. And then whatever's left over, just kind of run a little bit up the top. Now that the lactic acid has kind of set on my face for a few minutes. I'm gonna go in with my current favorite. This is the Versed Skin Soaked Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. This stuff is so good and really hydrating on my skin, especially during the winter time. My skin has been 
more dry. And this is just extremely hydrating. And I prefer it more at nighttime because it is really rich. And then last but not least, just a little bit of a lip mask or lip balm. This is the Laneige one, but sometimes I'll just use a little of my Vaseline lip therapy. But this one I like in the winter too for the extreme just dryness. I feel like everything gets so dry in the winter and the cold weather. All right, so that is my nighttime hair and skincare routine. So I'm probably just going to read for a little bit and then go to bed. Another work from home day. Gonna show you guys my work from home lunch, brunch kind of in between. I feel like these are gonna be like the most exciting parts of my vlog because when I work from home, that actually is the most exciting part of my day. So let's make brunch together. So I just air fried some turkey bacon. Look how delicious, nice and crispy. This is just the Oscar Mayer turkey bacon. Yep, same. I'm gonna do a little light mayo. If you guys can see love mayo on my BLTs. Whoa, that was messy. For lettuce and greens, I'm gonna do just like a handful of spring mix. I like mostly the spinach in here, but definitely like to get my greens in on like sandwiches or in eggs and stuff like that because I don't eat a lot of salads often. So when I can, I'm gonna like stack a lot of greens on here. I feel like I want just to add a little bit more to this sandwich. So I'm just gonna add some, my dog's barking. So I'm just gonna add two slices of, this is hot pepper American cheese. So much better than pepper jack. You guys have to trust me on this one. If you like spicy cheese and pepper jack, try hot pepper American. Top piece of bread. Here is lunch, brunch. This looks so delicious. These are the brand Townhouse. They are their pita crackers. And I'm gonna have it with some of this pesto hummus. Hi guys, so it is another Saturday. I think it's been a week exactly since I've last picked up my vlog camera and chatted with you guys. It has just been a really busy week with work, like personally some things going on. So it wasn't really like a good vlogging week for me, but I figure I will pick up where I left off last just to add more content to this vlog. I figured now we could do a little like unboxing, Amazon haul, I have a PR package. I have an order from e.l.f. Amazon, like I said, a couple of things are open already. To start, I have a couple of like tech related items. I feel like since I got my new vlogging camera, there's just a couple of things that I've needed. First is a little carrying case. So I picked this up on Amazon. It was like 12 or $13. I just wanted a little sleeve that I could carry my camera in that will keep it protected. I literally just noticed that it had this little pocket inside. I think this will be good for like a SIM card or something. Just something soft and compact to keep my vlog camera in when I take it with me on the go, which I wanna take it with me on the go more often and just kinda of have it on me all the time just in case anything exciting or notable happens, I guess you could say. So now I could carry it all the time with me. I feel like this next item is kinda of boring, maybe only exciting if you are also like a techie person or a content creator, but it is just an ethernet adapter that I got from Amazon because ever since getting this vlogging camera and the quality is 4K, the video literally almost took like 24 hours to upload and I had to compress the quality down a little bit on my last vlog. It's still 4K, but I feel like it's just not as sharp as it can be. So I'm hoping that being able to connect my computer directly to the router with the ethernet cable will kind of help with the upload speeds. But I have a MacBook Pro, I think it's like a 20, 16 I think it is a 2016 or a 2017 and it doesn't have the ethernet adapter which looks like this So I guess kind of boring, but hopefully it'll help make my upload speeds faster next from Amazon I'm kind of still trying to decorate my room a little bit my vanity area my filming background as I've mentioned before So I ordered another pack of these gallery wall frames It's the same frames that I have above my bed that you guys have seen in videos except these are white frames I want to put them on the wall behind me here I have this blank wall that I had stuff hanging and you, I have holes now there. I'm gonna put those there. These are the 11 by 14, again, from Amazon. I'll have them linked down below. They're very affordable for the pack of fives. I took two Etsy, did some digital downloads. You get every single size and file type for only $4. I hope it translates on camera. I feel like my ring light is kind of making a glare, but it's just like this really, really light pink background with 
the different flowers. So there's the two flowers, a solo flower. This one is so pretty too. And then also a little different. This is like a tulip maybe, but these were exactly what I was looking for. You guys know I love pink. I love black and pink specifically together. That's kind of like a lot what I have already going on in my room. Also placed an elf order. You guys, why are the elf boxes like the weirdest? shipping boxes ever please tell me if you guys feel this way if you order from elf they have like 20,000 layers of cardboard before you get to your product and they always use the biggest boxes even when you only order like one or two things i finally got my hands on the elf halo glow you guys i have been putting off testing this out for a long time but i feel like i'm like slowly but surely dipping my toes back into testing out makeup again i feel like i definitely fell off a little bit but after i did my declutter i'm like little more inspired to try some new products, especially in these vlogs and feeling like I don't have to dedicate a whole video. So finally got the Halo Glow. Was so excited to test this out and see what all the hype is about. I've heard it is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, which I've actually never tried. So I won't have an opinion on that comparison, but overall just really excited to see how this is going to perform. I got the shade number three light medium, which looks really, really good. A repurchase from e.l.f. is their Flawless Brightening Concealer. I grabbed the shade light. 26N, this is a repurchase from me. I talked about it in my last vlog with my empties. I just really love the brush tip applicator on this for kind of sculpting out the brows. The thin lightweight formula is really great as an eye primer. So I ran out of this a couple months ago and I've been missing it. So I decided to repurchase it. It's like six or eight dollars. I grabbed one of their new O-Face satin lipsticks. You guys know I love a satin lipstick. I love a nude lipstick. I saw this on TikTok, I think. I forget who it was that was doing swatches of these, but this shade in particular, Dirty Talk, looked so good. I'm a sucker for a nude lipstick, even if I have like a thousand of them already in my collection, but it says it's a comfortable high pigment color in just one swipe. This reminds me so much of NARS packaging, like the square, it's like that soft matte black packaging, and even the label on the bottom here. If you guys can see this definitely reminds me of NARS and has a nice weight to it. That is so gorgeous. Should I try it? I'm just gonna look weird on me because I don't have any makeup on, but maybe I'll do a swatch on my hand. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is so creamy and pigmented. Has a very light like vanilla -y scent, almost a little bit like MAC lipsticks. Oh yeah, I know. That I'm going to love this. With my order, I got two free gifts. So I got the Power Grip Primer, which I've actually also never tried. Super late to testing this out, but I heard it's a really good dupe for the Milk Makeup Primer. I forget what that one's called, but definitely excited to try this one out. And I know they even just launched the pink one that I think has niacinamide. And look at how cute this is, you guys. This gift is a mini putty primer. Get out. It's a little mini container. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, this is so cute. I'm definitely gonna hold on to this for when I run out of my putty primer because it is my favorite. Oh, it's like a little baby. The last package that I have is actually from Liquid IV. If you guys didn't know, I am a Liquid IV affiliate. I do have a discount code and a link that you guys can shop. I actually went to my PO box looking for something else. And when the guy carried out this big box, I was like, what is that? And I feel so bad because the ship date on this is January 5th. So. I didn't know it was in my PO box because I don't check it that regularly, but thank you so much Liquid IV for sending this over. If you guys wanna shop, I will have my link and my discount code down below. Of course, this is not sponsored. I guess this is just like a little PR box and gift. So let's open it up and see what's inside. I've never received like such a big box like this, but this looks like this is their hydration multiplier, non-alcoholic, mocktail electrolyte drink mix so it has cucumber mojito and then smoky mezcal paloma oh my gosh wait i am so excited i just moved to the floor because i could not hold up this box but it looks like it's their hydrating mocktails with two different flavors so the box comes with the cutest mixer look at this you guys mixer shaker is that what this is called oh look it says dry january new year's resolutions that is so cute and then i guess these are the flavors so like i said it's cucumber mojito and then smoky mezcal paloma oh i feel like these are gonna be so delicious and then what is this maybe like straws or something 
Yep, so this box has the straw and the straw cleaner, and then it also came with the liquid IV stirrer, which is absolutely adorable. This is so, so cute. Thank you so much, liquid IV. And I love this little box. What is this here? Is this an ice mold? I think it might be an ice cube mold. Oh my gosh, how adorable. Look how cute this set of dominoes is. How cute. And then I think that this might be... Oh, it's coasters. How cute is this? I am so excited for this right now, you guys. All flavor, no buzz. Happy hour meets hydration. Liquid IV. Oh, is this one too? I think this was one. I thought it was just the lid. And then another one, liquid IV. This is so sweet and literally like the nicest and most elaborate package that I've ever received. Definitely on days where I'm just feeling like dehydrated. I won't lie to you guys, I'm not a huge like workout kind of person. So I don't need hydration in like that way, but I feel like just day to day, liquid IV is really, really great. So again, I will have my code as well as the link down below. I'm definitely excited to try the new flavor. So thank you so much, Liquid IV. One more thing that I got from Amazon, I thought this was so cute, this Hello Gorgeous sign. It just made out of wood. It was like, I think it was 12 or $13, not too expensive, but I actually got this to go above my vanity right here. You guys saw earlier in the vlog, I put up, let me turn the light so it's a little brighter. I put up the whiteboard, but now I feel like this section needed something. So I found this when I was browsing Amazon and I just think it's gonna look really, really cute. Kind of in this section just to fill the space because I didn't think I wanted another square or something else with a frame. I kind of wanted to like switch up the texture and the look over here. So I think this Hello Gorgeous is gonna look really cute. It is a little bit smaller than I thought. Let me kind of actually hold it up. Oh, I think it's gonna be fine. It's really, really cute. I think it's gonna look really nice when it's all put up in this space. It is a new day and I just got in another package. This box is from Amazon. I ordered something new to hold my brushes because when I kind of redid my vanity I did picture something a little bit different here and I wanted to tie in a little bit more of like that pinky peach like the pompous grass that I have on the other side of my vanity so I ordered this spinning brush holder which I love the size it's definitely bigger than the one that I have there now and I also like that it has a middle compartment because I think I want to put my lip liners back on the top of my vanity with my brushes, I kind of just threw them in my drawer when I switched brush organizers and I don't like them. I feel like they're not as accessible. So I wanna try this out. I really, really love the shade of pink of this. Ooh, this is really nice so far, you guys, look at that. <gasps> okay, let's go ahead and transfer my brushes in here and lip liners. I do have to wash my brushes. I'm well aware that that needs to happen, but not, not quite yet. <laughs> You know what, hold on, I'm not doing this right. I should try to keep the same types of brushes together so it's easier to reach for what I need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do some organizing first. I have a lot of extra brushes that I don't use day to day, but these ones are like my smaller detail brushes there, like some lid, lid brushes. Then I'm gonna gather my blending brushes. my everyday larger brushes, which I honestly don't use many large brushes. I'm trying to see if this is gonna work really well for lip liners, because a lot of them are on the shorter side. And I feel like I'm really gonna have to dig through to find what I need. Let's see. Like a lot of them, like these are my house liner. My house labs lip liners, I mean, like those are really, really short. So I don't know if that's gonna be a good idea to put in here because they're kind of gonna be hidden in the middle, but this is really cool. I like this a lot, you guys. So here is what it looks like with the brushes. Like I said, I do have a lot more brushes. These are just my day-to-day -day ones that I have in here. Lip liners are in the middle. I don't know how I'm gonna love this. I don't know how user-friendly it is, but I overall think this is so cute. I still wanna put it on 
this tray so I might be able to get rid of this now and just do like this little grouping like this I think I like that that's really really cute and I will have this link down below I think it was like 12 or 13 dollars on Amazon hello you guys it is yet again another Saturday I'm at my grandparents house right now we are in the city in the Bronx today for like a little birthday celebration for my nonna and my aunt. So I'm gonna start getting ready. It's about 11.45, everyone's coming probably around two. So I figured I would just get a little head start on getting ready. So I'm gonna pop in some contacts and I think I'm gonna curl my hair today. This is my favorite curling iron for when I want more like loose curls. This is the Remington, I think it's the one and a half inch barrel it's a little bit of like a thicker barrel so gonna do that today and then of course my makeup and if you guys were wondering for my contacts i just use the dailies aqua comfort plus i love the daily contact lenses i've tried monthly the two week ones these ones are just my favorite they just work the best for me honestly i usually would just curl my hair in like one giant section but i feel like i'm gonna actually try a little bit harder today and just kind of clip up this top section of my hair. Oh yeah. Once I let go of the curl, I would say I hold it for like 15 to 20 seconds. I'll drop it into my hand and just hold it for like another five to 10 seconds because I feel like this really helps the curl just like set as it's cooling. I feel like when you drop it and it falls and it's cooling, it almost like pulls the curl out. But my hair does not hold a curl very well. You guys, I'm sure you can see this is like my naturally straight hair, so. Let's see, and there's like one curl. These are definitely gonna fall out throughout the day. I would say maybe in like four to five hours, my hair is gonna be just like barely wavy, but it's cute when you first put them in. And if you guys see like a little flickering, I think this light bulb in this bathroom is about to blow out. So that is why, but I love being at my grandparents' house. It's just like so cozy. If you guys couldn't tell, this bathroom is literally from like the 1940s or 50s with like the yellow and blue tile and stuff like that. But I just love, love being here. There's so many great memories and that tradition and stuff. And if you guys see the windows too, they open like, like how cute is that? It's like my favorite part of the bathroom. Makeup by Mario, E3 Eyes. All right, you guys, so working on my face makeup now, and I was trying to show you how I've been getting the makeup by Mario to work for me, but, but I forgot my sponge and I'm having to use a brush and I don't think it looks as good with a brush. So I don't think this is like the best demonstration of how I've been getting this to work, but basically just a lot of a hydrating, really creamy primer works really well underneath it for me. But I don't love how it's going on with this brush right now. I feel like a damp sponge is better. Hi guys, so here is the final makeup and hair. My camera was running out of space, so I couldn't finish showing you guys my makeup on camera. But here is the final look, just a little highlighter in the corner of my eye. Lips are the e.l.f. lip filler liner in light brown and then MAC Honey Love lipstick. Really, really cute, just like simple glam. This has been like my go-to makeup look. The curls still look nice. Hopefully they last. Like I said, they'll probably fall out eventually. But I just wanna show you guys quickly my outfit and then I have to run. So let me show you that. Just really simple today. Like I said, we're just having some family over at my grandma's house for like some pizza and a little lunch dinner. So this is my Amazon mock neck turtleneck bodysuit from Mango Pop. I love these bodysuits. I will have this one linked in my Amazon storefront. And then my jeans are just American Eagle. They're mom jeans i think if they're still available i will have them linked i have a couple pairs these are my favorite jeans cozy cabin socks just to keep my feet warm and i might throw on just like air force ones or something or just wear the socks in the house to stay cozy but that is 
the look today, just like a simple, cute little glam. And I might grab some clips with my family, but if not, I might just end the vlog here. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll definitely see you in my next vlog very soon. Bye.